Before there was Ellen Ripley. Before there was Wonder Woman. There was the original action heroine, Atalanta. Now available at Amazon, Smashwords, and at StudioBrainstorm.net. Links in the description. No, dear friends, your eyes did not deceive you. You are reading the title correctly. Before I can do the next phase in the history of the Emerald Empire, I must once again summon forth that which is anathema to the internet and provide context. Which in this case means talking about some filthy barbarians. Specifically, the two foreign kingdoms that first made contact with Rokugan, Merine and Thrain. Unfortunately, there's not going to be much to say about either of these small, tiny kingdoms, because compared to other Gaijin empires like, say, the Yotodai or the Senpet, there's just not much detail on either Merine or Thrain. But, for what it's worth, this is what we have. Starting with Merine. Merine is mostly a stand-in for Iberia, so Portugal and Spain. They're mostly known for their, by Rokugani standards, exotic weapons like cannons, muskets, and gaijin pepper, and their odd religion, which said that a mortal soul only got one journey through life and that each soul was of equal worth, regardless of the status of the body that contained it. The only detail worthy of note about Merine is that they were the ones that invented gunpowder weapons and the story of how that came to be. And funnily enough, the story actually begins in Rokugan. The Agasha family were always very, very curious, and unsurprisingly, they were the ones to figure out alchemy in the Emerald Empire. And among those many alchemical discoveries was the invention of fireworks, or hanabi as they're called. One day, at some long ago undetermined date, a group of Agasha Shugenja were on their way to put on a fireworks display for the Dragon Clan champion when they were robbed by Yobanjin, the tribesmen that lived to the very, very north of the Emerald Empire. If you recall the Unicorn Clan video, these were originally the humans that would not swear allegiance to the Kami, and when the war with Fuleng broke out, told the Imperial Emissaries in no uncertain terms to piss off. Among the things the Yobanjin stole from the caravan were some Hanabi fireworks. These they sold to a merchant from Medinat al-Salam, a great city somehow built in the midst of the burning sands, the great northwestern desert. These in turn he sold to a trader from the Ivory Kingdoms, which is basically fantasy India. This trader then eventually traveled to Merine and sold them to one Espada Cornejo. Cornejo was greatly fascinated by the fireworks, but he also saw other potentials in them. The Rokugani used them for entertainment. He saw the potential as a weapon. And so Espada Cornejo invented what he called polvora, which the Rokugani would later call gaijin pepper, essentially black powder explosives. He then went on to invent the first flintlock guns. The only other funny detail about this was that the king of Merine at the time, King Diego, was so impressed by the weapons that he declared them perfect. And this actually had the adverse effect of making future Merine gunsmiths reluctant to improve upon Espada Cornejo's design. Meaning that Merine eventually began to fall behind some of its neighbors in the development of firearms technology. Which of course now brings us to Thrain. In some ways, the information on Thrain is even spottier than that on Merine. Some sources say that Thrain was an island off the coast not far from Merine. Others say that it was a peninsula. The only thing known for certain is that it was north of Merine, and so the weather was a lot colder and its people dressed in more warm clothing. If Merine is fantasy Spain, Thrain is fantasy England, and based on the few bits of official art that I've been able to find, I would peg it as Spain and England somewhere around the 16th or 17th century. Apart from improving on the firearms invented by Espada Cornejo, the only thing that's known about Thrain is that their monarch had far less power than that of his counterpart in Merine. Also, the people of Thrain were a lot less status-conscious than those of Merine. 
In Marinay, blood was all that mattered. Nobility was inherited. Thrain was a bit more meritocratic. Wealth counted for more than blood, and if you were successful in business, you could become a part of the Thrain aristocracy, essentially buying your way into high society. There's a small offhand mention somewhere that Thrain and Marinay viewed each other as heretics, and that further solidifies my conviction that they're essentially based off of Spain and Europe in the 16th or 17th century, as this was around the point post-Reformation where religious tensions between Protestants and Catholics were really heating up. And that really is about it in terms of lore. The only advice I can give to role players in this sort of thing is basically just skim over Wikipedia of England and Spain in the 16th and 17th centuries and use that as a baseline. Then fill in whatever kind of backstory you like. And so I wrap up this video with essentially the events that would lead to the first contact between the Emerald Empire and the Gaijin. Weirdly enough, the way that this starts actually connects to the Kirin Exodus as a group of the Moto family arrived in Marine in the year 439, four years after the fall of the Gozoku. One of the many citizens of Marine that came into contact with them was one Teodoro Cornejo, a descendant of Espada Cornejo, the inventor of Gaijin Pepper. His interest in the strange foreigners was piqued, and he engaged in dialogue with them, even learning some of the Rokugani language in the process. From them, he learned of the Emerald Empire, and so decided to approach his sovereign, King Philip of Marine, with an idea. Establish trade relations with this exotic land far across the sea. And so the king commissioned Cornejo on a diplomatic and trade delegation to Rokugan empowering him to establish trade relations and diplomatic ties between his court and that of the Emerald Empire. Unfortunately, en route to Rokugan, Cornejo's fleet was badly damaged in a storm and left adrift for several days. Luckily, perhaps, it was discovered by another fleet, led by one Garen Hawthorne of Thrain. Like Cornejo, Hawthorne was himself of noble blood. In fact, he was a distant kinsman of the King of Thrain. However, he was also a very greedy man, and after discovering that there was a lot of profit to be gained in piracy, had renounced his noble lineage and background and taken to the seas as a marauder of ships. Why exactly he chose to rescue Cornejo's expedition we will never know. But, after speaking with the Marine leader, he learned of the expedition's purpose to journey to Rokugan and decided to accompany Cornejo to the Emerald Empire. At last, the two would arrive in the year 440, one year after Cornejo's departure from Marine. What followed was deceit, conspiracy, disaster, and death.